Hello friends, welcome back to Technique. Today we will be doing the detailed camera review of the flagship device from OnePlus for 2024, the OnePlus 12. So we have the OnePlus 12 with us. It comes with a triple camera setup. The camera setup is quite similar to the OnePlus Open launched late last year. So let's see how good the camera experience is on the flagship device for OnePlus in 2024. So before going into the detailed camera review, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish so let's begin so first let's have a look at the camera hardware so the primary camera is a sony light 808 sensor it's a 50 megapixel shooter with 7p lens and you get optical image stabilization and f 1.6 aperture there is also a secondary ultra wide angle camera it's again a sony imx 581 sensor it's a 48 megapixel uh, camera and it has f 2.2 aperture and uh, with a field of view of 114 degrees now the third camera is a periscope telephoto lens it's an omnivision ov 64b sensor with 3x optical zoom and 6x uh, in sensor zoom and this is a 64 megapixel shooter again with optical image stabilization now on the front panel you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera with f 2.4 aperture and once again it's a sony imx 615 sensor so that's the camera aspect so let's go straight into the camera samples to see how it performs so let's have a look at the daylight captures in daylight conditions you can see here the details are good the colors are very nice and rich and overall the quality of the images looks great and it's it's more or less a pleasing image actually Actually, the dynamic range is good it's nice and white the colors are rich in tones but it's not oversaturated the details are good this is quite evident when you pixel peep and you can see here there is plenty of details offered by the 50 megapixel shooter so in terms of daylight conditions the oneplus 12 does a really good job here especially with the colors and dynamic range it uh, processes the image pretty well overall so the overall quality of the daylight shots looks pretty good so that was the daylight conditions now let's uh, have a look at the uh, ultra wide angle camera the 48 megapixel ultra wide angle camera once again does uh, very similar results and color reproduction is once again pretty spot on i would say uh, more or less similar to the primary camera and once again the sharpness levels are pretty good and uh, the dynamic range also looks quite okay for the most part so the, the ultra wide angle camera is definitely good and really usable now the telephoto lens can do 3x optical zoom and once again you can see there is plenty of details on offer the dynamic range is good the colors are once again consistent and does a quite a good job of Overall in terms of uh, the sharpness levels too so that's the telephoto lens now moving on to the close-up shots once again you can see here the colors are rich and uh, uh, overall quality of the images looks good the bokeh effect also looks great and there is also uh, a macro sensor in fact the macros are handled by the telephoto lens you can see here great amount of details on offer the omnivision sensor does an impressive job with macros now moving on to the portraits now you can take portraits in 1x 2x and 3x 1x and 2x is handled by the primary camera while the 3x is handled by the telephoto lens now the portraits are good the skin tones are more or less natural looking and it doesn't have any saturation issues the overall quality also looks good uh, the edge detection is pretty good on the 1x and 2x zoom but the telephoto lens does have a bit of uh, issues with edge detection it's not actually very sharp uh, and uh, some cases you can see that the edges were not that great but the 1x and 2x photos were pretty good and pretty much natural to the 3x also has a tendency to slightly uh, boost the brightness levels in the face next let's move on to the low light conditions so indoor artificial light you can see here there is good amount of details even in outdoor conditions you can see here uh, the night mode offers uh, good details it's it doesn't over brighten or over expose the night mode and as a result you can see that night mode is more or less like the night mode but the dynamic range is good and details are also quite good and it's definitely acceptable although there is some lens flare issues in the low light conditions now this is the ultra wide angle camera once again quite uh, decent and the telephoto lens also also, uh, produces decent results although it's not as sharp as a primary camera but obviously this is a low light uh, with the telephoto lens so it's kind of uh, acceptable I would say now moving on to the selfies now the 32 megapixel selfie camera does a quite good job uh, I personally like the color tones and the skin tones offered by the selfie camera it's pretty good the dynamic range is also nice and wide and does a quite good job overall it doesn't uh, have the, the beauty effects and the over brightening of the face so those things are missing but the edge direction in portrait selfies and it does uh, make it a slightly artificial looking uh, portrait selfies but otherwise the selfie camera is quite good 
Now let's move on to the video recording. Now the phone can record videos in 8K at 24 FPS. The uh, the quality of the 8K video is good, but then uh, the contrast and the white balance seems to be slightly off. Now the phone also can uh, record 4K 60 FPS. This is good, and the colors are more or less uh, natural looking. The stabilization works well. It's an OIS plus EIS combination, and uh, the overall quality of the video looks great. Now same is the case with uh, the other video quality as well. So you can see here, uh, even when you work the stabilization is pretty good the colors and the dynamic range also looks great now uh, the phone can record also in 1080p 60 fps 1080p 30 fps 4k 30 fps almost all the samples are quite similar and the colors and details are pretty much consistent across all the cameras and uh, the stabilization also works pretty good now moving on to the telephoto lens here you can see that uh, uh, the brightness or rather the exposure is slightly on the high side and white balance seems to be slightly off but overall you would say uh, the telephoto lens also with uh, OIS does a quite good job with uh, stabilization. Now there is also ultra wide angle camera uh, which can record uh, uh, videos in 4K as well. So all the three cameras can record videos in 4K resolution at 60 frames per second. So this is the front facing camera sample taken with uh, the OnePlus 12. It can record videos in 4K at 30 FPS. So you can judge yourself how good the clarity of the video is and also the audio output from the video. So that is a detailed camera review of the OnePlus 12. So summing up, the OnePlus 12 is a quite a good package, especially with the camera sensors. It's a pretty good package out there. The daylight shots are good. The ultra wide angle looks good. The uh, telephoto lens also produces pretty good results. The close-up images are good. The macros are really great, excellent uh, quality with the telephoto lens. Then uh, the low light experience is also quite okay-ish, I would say, but probably a bit more fine tuning could be done with uh, the low light uh, photos especially for the ultra wide and the telephoto lens but the portraits did a quite uh, good job overall again the 3x portraits uh, edge detection was not that great these are some areas where uh, the camera performance could be improved but otherwise it's a quite a good package uh, with uh, the one plus 12 in terms of camera performance it may not be the best camera out there in this price segment but it has a quite good uh, camera setup and the performance will not uh, disappoint most of the users unless you are looking for the best camera out there so that is a detailed camera review of the oneplus 12 so what do you guys think about the camera do let us know your thoughts in the comment section this is normal signing off thanks for watching hope to see you in our next video have a great day